Now coming to the exercises. So first exercise is state whether the following statements are true or false. You just have to recall the story and say whether the sentences given here are true or false, whether they are related to the chapter or not. Aman was the class monitor of class 6th. Was he? Yes, he was. The class teacher was very strict that everyone should attend the assembly in the morning. Yes, this is again true. Aman asked Mohit why he had skipped the morning assembly. Yes, Mohit made an excuse about missing the assembly. No, he didn't make any excuse excuse he came out with the truth the teacher punished mohit no not again this is false everyone in was in the class when mohit had come in the morning no there was nobody in the class they had already left for the assembly mohit came inside the class to keep his bag true the classroom was quite clean no it was very dirty it was in a mess so Mohit skipped his assembly and instead get do got down to clean the room now next set of exercises is answer the following questions briefly now again we have to remember the story we have to recall the story and answer these questions why did Mohit not attend the morning assembly that day he did not attend the assembly because when he came to the room, uh, classroom to keep his bag, he saw that the whole class was in a mess. It was in a shambles. There was dirt all around. There, were, there was garbage on the floor of the classroom. So instead of going to the assembly, he sat down to clean the classroom because he remembered this, that his teacher had always told him that cleanliness is next to godliness. So that was answer to the first one. Second, what did Mohit notice in the classroom? He noticed that the classroom was in shambles with dirt. It was littered with wrappers, aluminium foil and so much other stuff. What did he do to rectify it? He got down to work on it and tidy, tidy the classroom and clean it. Did the teacher scold Mohit? No, she did not. After hearing the whole story why he had not attended the assembly, the teacher realized that Mohit had done a wonderful job. Why? Why not? Because she knew that Mohit had done a better job than attending the most. Uh, he had not done anything wrong by not attending the morning assembly. Instead, he had done a very noble job. How did the teacher appreciate Mohit. She praised him and made him a model for the whole class. How did Mohit become a role model for others? By setting an example for them that he did not overlook the dirt, the garbage in the class, the trash that was littered all over the class. So he set an example for others. And next set of question answer is for you. Think and answer the following questions. If you see your classmates littering the classroom, what action will you do? So if you see your friends, classmates doing the same to the classroom, creating chaos, mess there, so what would you do? Will you be, keep silent about that or will you volunteer to work for the, that and will you tell your friends or classmates to stop doing that and try to make them understand the importance of cleanliness so what all can you do how important is cleanliness for you and again this is for you just to say just to think how important it is whether it is important or not whether you should take a bath early in the morning or whether you should keep your surroundings clean or what all should you do to keep your everything in order in a neat and tidy manner what all is it important to you or you just leave it like that no problem mama hai na, mama kar legi. do you think like that or you contribute in small small ways so these two are for you to realize to understand the importance of cleanliness in you and around you